Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Infinity Evolved Expert Mode. My name is Brink, and we're on the FTOG server. And guys, we got some news for today. We're on episode 50 on this one. And I was thinking, you know, now's probably a good time to end our series. I was wondering what you guys think. Maybe you can give me some pointers or suggestions, whether we should continue or whether we have stuff to do. As far as what we need to do, what we wanted to do, or at least I wanted to do, I've done. <laughs> I've done everything I wanted to do, which was the creative energy cell and the creative portable tank. I filled up a number of uh, bedrockium drums with the things that are probably the most expensive, and then I put some of the extras that I probably wouldn't be ever using again. And I was thinking to myself, is there anything else that I want to do? There's a lot of stuff to do, but not really what I want to do. For example, a mining turtle. <laughs> I mean, these are things I can do, but not that I really need to. I'll chop down some trees with them or go mining with it. It doesn't make sense. I don't need it. And so we've reached a level where I'm at um, max, um, OP. I'm gone as far as I wanted to. I can't think of anything else that I really want to do, except for something that I've been striving for for a very long time, and that is the Eldritch tab on the Thalmanomicon. I wonder if I have a Thalmanomicon available here, and I don't. We can go over to an ME system that I've installed here in the Magic Pod. You'll notice that I put all the roofs back on. And expanded the pools just to make a bigger buffer and reservoir. Uh, we're backed up because all the pools are filled. Um, I could make another level of pools just to make my buffer bigger. Um, but the Kekamurises are still working down there. And they're going to be chewing up all the hose for the farms. So, you know, I'm thinking to myself, do I really want to automate that? Because I can't think of anything else I want to do with any magic other than the Eldritch tab. Somebody gave me a suggestion in the last episode. Daniel, he's been very helpful over the years. And he gave me a suggestion how to get the Eldritch tab. Boom. Got it. <laughs> he said, eat a lot of brains. You get smart. And I did. I ate some fish brains, or zombie brains. And we got the Eldritch tab. Um, you know, I ate a lot of zombie brains. But finally, at the end, he also suggested I make some, some flesh golems. So I made the wooden golem, because you need it in order to make the flesh golem. As soon as I built that flesh golem, I had some kind of an indicator. One of these, your perception suddenly expands, or somebody's watching you from behind, or uh, stuff like that. You're getting a headache, that type of thing. Uh, I got a notice, and bing, I heard a ding sound. I checked the Thalmanomicon, and I found it did have the Eldritch tab with a glimmer on top. So I opened it. I have not opened and looked at it yet. So this is the first time I'm looking at it and I see there's some stuff in here. Here's the void metal, which this is the reason why I wanted the Elders tab. I didn't know about any of these other things. A one focus primal. These are weapons, I believe. I've seen them in Ethos videos and I see that there is a little bit of a forbidden magic aura going on behind it. Um, I've never been interested in the wand uh, armament or the weapons of it because I can do just fine with my bow and arrow from Draconic Evolution. I can do well with my sword. I don't really need it. Eldritch Epiphany. First steps into the unknown. This is probably another dimension, I'm guessing. And then a sanity check, which we could probably make. I've seen this in other people's videos. Uh, very useful. Maybe we can do that now. Uh, Let's get a scribe and some paper. We'll knock that out real quick. But again, as I prepare for this, I was wondering if you guys can suggest anything I might want to do. I can't really think of anything. What am I doing? I'm trying to get this. And let's look up paper here. There's a couple of refinements that I do want to settle and finish up at the base before I do close this... Um, this series though. I'll leave this paper in here and let's move these things back into our desk so we can do some research here. 
I just filled up my wand, getting ready for the craft of today. And we're building the sanity check, or checker, I think it should be called, probably. I don't know. Uh, we need a quicksilver and an arcane workbench with these Terra and Ignis. And if we look for quicksilver, there isn't any. Uh, there is a silver leaf which produces quicksilver, and I don't see any. Um, is it called silver leaf? Yeah. Oh, shimmer leaf. That's what it's called. Okay. So there's our. That's what we needed for quicksilver. Let's see. And um, we were making this in an arcane workbench. So very simple. We'll just stick it in there. We should have it. Simple craft. And no. Oh, the wand. Okay. Do we have to put the wand in first, maybe? Nope. So what was it? Arcane workbench. We put a quicksilver in with this amount and we should have the mirror. So I'm doing something wrong or it might be one of those altered uh, recipes. So let's see if we make a, a mirror in the ME system, in the NEI I mean, a shapeless work table. I'm doing everything correct. Maybe it has to be on the upper left. Is, does it matter? No, it doesn't give it to me. Hmm. All right, turns out we're trying to make, let's see, Eldritch, Sanity Checker. I need this mirror, and this recipe is wrong for Infinity Evolved Expert Mode. Uh, if you look for this mirror in the NEI, it's this one. It also gives you the same wrong recipe. So I did some research and I found that in the artifice tab here, there is a mirror, is different. So I did the research for it and now I'm able to make it this mirror, but I need this mirror in the center. Same deal. I'm getting the wrong recipe here. So I don't know how to make this because when I put a Quicksilver in here with the right amount of, let's see, um, I wonder if this has Ignis. How do I check for Ignis? I think it's that red one there. Uh, let's see if this helps any. I'm going to change my clothes here. Don't peek. And let's see if it changes anything with, as far as discount or anything like that. Doesn't seem to. And besides, I'm putting the wand away from me, so I don't think my clothing would matter. But this should give it, and it doesn't matter where you place it, it's the same recipe every time, um, as you can see. So I'm going to have to work on that and try to figure this out. I won't be able to make the sanity checker until then, I guess. But So let's jump to something else. This way we can get at least something done for this episode. Uh, let's see. Put these on. And we'll put this Thaumonomicon away, and we'll do something else. Now, I've been working a little bit with blood magic off camera, and you'll notice that I used a creative portable tank to make a number of bedrockium drums here and to fill in the pipes. The problem is that the runes that I have are very slow. They're 20, 20 millibuckets per tick or per second, I'm not sure, and I only have a tier 3. But they're all the same. They're default blood runes. They're no... Uh, specialty on them so this pumping will take a very very long time for it to pump in it's 20 millibuckets per tick or whatever it is so what I want to do is make some dislocation runes to make it a little bit faster and I've been making the slates now here's a tier 1 tier 2 and tier 3 and the dislocation runes which is this one requires two blood runes which are easy to make this is very cheap to make but i need 15 of these imbued slates in order to make 15 runes of dislocation and i want to make 15 and so i have 15 i was going to say i need double of that but i guess i don't uh, because i thought it was on the sides i think this is what i want to make next which is in an alchemic chemistry set. You'll notice there's no other option, no other method by which to make it. So let's make the alchemic chemistry set and see how far we can get with that. Chem. It's a brewing stand. 
in a tier one altar. Easy. Let's grab this brewing stand. I don't have a transportation or a teleportation back to this area. So I'll just leave it. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Let's put the brewing stand in there. That's going to take a little while. Um, I may need uh, my sacrificial orb. And you know what? I think I'm going to keep it over in the chest over there. Might be a safer place to have it. Orb. Don't have it here either. Where have I placed? Oh, it might be in my bag. There it is. Just in case, I'll just keep it in this area. Right here. And it looks like it's done. This is the first time I've built one of these. I've never built uh, one of these alchemic chemistry sets. So, uh, we're making the Salas Mundus, I think it's called. Uh, let's see, where do we find it? Oh yeah, we were typing in this location rune. And it's this one. So, the, the Aqua Salas, that's what it is. So we have to make this simple catalyst, which is red, sugar, red, gunpowder, and glow. And a orb. Uh, a master's orb or something like that. Let's see if I have it in here. I do, a magician's orb. And we need some red, glow, gunpowder, and sugar. Let's put this in here. We'll pull up the red, uh, sugar, and glow with gunpowder. All right, so we'll see. Does it matter where you put things? I don't know. We'll split this one in half. Does it have to be perfect? It looks like it. Oh, it's working. Oh, okay. And it seems to be working, and there it is. All right, so we'll make a couple of these, and then while we're doing the second one, we will look up. I think it was called Aquasalis. And it's this one. So we need one of these simple catalysts above. Oh, I see. Are we going to need millions of these in order to make millions of these? We may. We're going to need some ink and some water bottles. All right, so uh, let's see. Hmm. Do we have any ink? We do. And some bottles. I don't have any bottles. And yeah, so I'm going to have to make some bottles then. Uh, let's go back here. Glass. And we'll craft them up. Looks like I have none made. So let's make a thousand glass and we'll make some a couple of bottles out of that. We'll make some water bottles. And then we will... Uh, See, if we need a one-for-one one on each of these, we're making 10 so far. Yeah, let's make a stack of these. I'll bring you back once I have all the water bottles and all the crafts ready for the Aquasalis. I've installed a Ender Conduit with a water bottle so that it, it would send automatically, and I'd just dump some bottles down there below, fly back up, dump them in here. Uh, we have our 30 Aquasalis, and we got some leftovers because I did a whole stack of the uh, previous. So we need... If we want 15 runes of dislocation, we're going to need 30 blood runes. And we have a number of them. I think it's in the Emmy system. But I set up a craft to make some more blood. I don't have any. Okay, so we'll make the full 30 here. Uh, let's see. We'll go like this. Oops. No, that's not what I want to do. Let's break it in half like this. We got our 30. And then we need our Magician's Blood Orb as well. Totally forgot about that. Should be in here. Uh, let's see. So we'll have our Blood Runes and then we can craft our Runes of Dislocation. So there's our 30. Let's put all of this in our inventory. We may need it. Uh, just toss away the stone though. All right, so back to the dislocation runes. We have our 30. We can put them across there. We have our orb. We need 15 of these imbued slates, and I think we have those, right? I think they're out here somewhere. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. 
Here they are. Okay, so I think we're done. We just got to get a crafting table now. And I may have one in here. Don't see one real quick, but let's pull it up over here. Here we go. Very good. And we also will need some glass bottles. Oh, we need the imbued on top, Aquasalis. Uh, let's see. And the orb in the middle. Then we need the blood runes with the bottle in middle. And I can just go like something like this. Fill it all up. We need 30, so I'll just go up to 30. And I don't care if they fall out of my inventory because they'll be coming right back to me here. But there's our dislocation runes. Awesome. Awesome. We got our 15, and now I think if we use up this, the piping should work for the drums. So I'd like to craft a couple of things just to see this work. Maybe we can grab some of these glass bottles. They do get crafted in an altar. Let's see what happens. Uh, let's put these in here, and it'll send one at a time. Hopefully this will fill as the bottles are going. Uh, we need something that uses up a lot of life essence so that we can see the difference. I won't be using the sacrificial orb thing. I think I left it in the ME system, so that's good. But I'll let this uh, run a little bit just to see if it drains up the life essence. It seems to be, if you look at the line where it's draining, okay, there's one, whatever this is. I wonder what this is anyway. Potion flask. Whatever. It's, it's not a big deal. But yeah, it is filling. You see how it's pumping out and back in again? I think 15 is the maximum you can have for the fastest uh, input-output. But there are other runes that add to this amount. But I think we're done with this. Alright, so this is working. It is refilling very quickly. Quicker than what we can use with it. Even if I were to run a stack of stuff, it just refills really, really quick. So... I was a derp. There is some major flaw here. I was looking this up again. The sanity checker requires this mirrored glass, and I thought it was just a Quicksilver because I didn't see that there is something here. If you look very carefully, there is a mana glass pane here, and that's what the issue was. So we're going to get a mana glass pane, and that should complete our craft for the mirrored glass. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so this used up, it looks like 9 of the Ignis and 9 of the Terra. Or maybe this has a discount on it, and that's why it only removed uh, 9. Anyway, uh, let's see. So we were making the Sanity Checker. So we're going to need a Diamond and a Brain, and we don't have any. <laughs> uh, let's see, Brain. Um, it might be in the ME system. Let's check there real quick. Brain, not Crane. Uh, brain, yes. And a diamond. This would be a little bit higher than the center, which is here. Um, which would be the second one here, I believe. And that would be the second one there. Maybe I'll do that. I don't know if that'll be uh, a problem. We'll go just a little bit higher than the center here. So it'll be here. I believe. Three left over from the bottom, three left over from the bottom, and then we'll place a pedestal on this corner. I hope I don't lose stuff, but I want to do this accurate and get it done in one time, in one shot. So we'll place this here. Okay, so that's sort of, uh, well, at least I think it's more balanced than what we had before. But now the distance from here to here is a lot farther, and I don't know if that matters. But let's give it a try. Let's uh, let's check. So I have enough of the the essences here. I should have enough. Hopefully it'll finish quickly. Let's see what the level of compli oh moderate. Yeah, there may be some issues with this then. Um, so far the things that will be used, like the brain, the diamond, and the mirror, they're replaceable. And I don't think we lose the thaumometer, but I wouldn't mind making another one, it's not a big deal. 
Um, so far, so good. It's it's chewing it up. <laughs> My biggest issue is filling these jars back up again. They do take a little bit of work. They're not as easy. So if anything drops out, I'm just going to quickly replace it. It looks like um, it's up to the brain. Yep. Looks like it's done. Oh, there's a diamond. Yeah, I didn't even notice. Okay, so we're done. Awesome. We have the sanity checker. And how does this work? Okay, so I we don't click it. We just look at it on the upper left. And it seems to be okay. I was told that if we're above two-thirds or one-third, I don't remember, um, that then we are able to do other things. And I don't remember what that was. But, you know, the reason why I did this was because I wanted to take a look at the void metal to see if I can make anything with it. And let's put this in here. Actually, the scribing tool here. We'll grab and click this to get the research note and put this in here. Let me solve this real quick and we'll see what we can do with it. All right, all I have left is one more line. Terra. Let's go with Victus. Um, let's go here. And then we'll have space for two more. So, Aqua. I know this is boring for you guys. It, imagine for me, I hate magic. So, this is uh, quite uh, not what I want to do. And let's look for Tempestas, which is the cloud one. This one. Yeah, all right, so we're completed there, and let's get this, get the research for it, and now we can open it up and see what's in it. So we can drop a seed into a crucible with eight metallum, and which I think we can get with iron, if I'm not mistaken. That's what I've been trading with, with Link. He's been providing it for me, and let's get the void seeds, and... Putting it in the crucible, we'll let it cook a little bit and see how much one iron does. It might be actually two, so we'll wait for that. And there it is. Okay, we'll drop that in. Let's take our magnet off. It's four. It's four fur. So, um, hmm. Let's drop one more. So it's two iron. Okay, that does work. So, and, and it gives it to me clean. There's nothing left over in the crucible, which is awesome. So I'll drop one with a void seed, and there's my second void metal. Awesome. So that's how it works. Well, I think that's about it for this episode. We've run a long time already, or at least I have. Guys, again, I'd like to ask, if you have any suggestions for something else we could do, I'd appreciate it if you let me know. But... I, the thing is, I can do a million things. There's a million things I can do. But I don't just want to do anything. I mean, I, I really want to do things that I need to do. And so building a, a mining turtle, for example. Yeah, sure, I could do it. I've done it before. But I really don't need to do it for this pack. Um, there's a million things I can do. But not a whole lot of things that I want to do. And so let's take a quick look around the base um, if you can't think of anything else that you'd like to see me do, then I guess I'll call it quits for this series and we're done. Uh, but if you can, do leave it down there in the description, in the comment section. Let me know what you would like or what your suggestion is for me to do. But other than that, I don't know anything else that we can do that would be interesting, that would be fun. Um, so I think I'm done for this episode, uh, for this series, and guys, thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did, and I, I enjoyed it a lot, I like this pack a lot, almost as much as the Dire Wolf series, and the, actually the Resident Rise, well, you know what, maybe I like this one more than the Resident Rise, because it was more challenging, it was more difficult, and it required using other mods that you're not usually, or used to, um, having to deal with. You're forced to use the other mods. So guys, I think I'm done for this episode and the series. I want to thank you for watching the series and I'll catch you on the next one.